Welcome back. Day 35 training to be the fittest dad on earth. And no, I did not forget about you guys. Last week was the first time in 10 years that I took a complete week off of training. All I did was prep work and ride the assault bike. After running the Bismarck Half Marathon, my body needed it. I needed to lick my wounds, get better at my weaknesses, and move forward as one unit. So having said that, hopefully you can gain some insight from my weaknesses and make them your strengths. Previous movement, the Jefferson Curl, is to decompress the spine and get more fluid within the joint. I was dealing with a back injury since May 11th, so it was time to address it. On to the second weakness, my glute meads. This helps assisting in internal external rotation of the knees and the finer movements about the hips and knees. Throughout my running gait analysis, it showed that I have a hip drop due to the lack of strength in my glute meads. All these weaknesses cannot be fixed with just one chiropractor or a massage therapist appointment. It takes time and effort as I've been dealing with this since May 11th. But this is exactly what I did for the entire week last week. Nothing but prep and working on my weaknesses. Thank goodness this week we're back to training, mileage, and getting after it. Single leg RDL is one of my favorites. It allows you to stabilize the pelvis through entire ranges of motion. And these last movements are addressing my major issues. Hip external rotation, strength in the hip flexors, and posterior chain activation throughout my runs. This ain't the flashy shit that everybody wants to do, but it's the shit that keeps you going. Tune in each day to be the best version of yourself and the fittest dad on earth.